How's the one? You. Uh, I'm Polly, and this is my lovely assistant, Melanie Wise. She's here to do the cooking for me. Go back. Oh, go back. Sorry. Okay. On there it says Holly Mata Roar. And Mata is my mom's maiden name, and I plan on changing my name to that. And that's a goofy picture of me that I thought I'd use because I think it's silly. You know, kind of silly. And I was born in 1994, and I didn't put my actual birthday in there because I don't like celebrating my birthday. I will celebrate other people's, but it's not mine. <coughs> and my sisters. That is my little sister, Hunter. And we have this thing where we go to like stores and stuff. And we always put on, like, we'll find like crazy stuff and we'll put on hats or just do whatever and we'll mess around. And that is my older sister, Hannah, because she's about to kiss me. <laughs> and that's um, <laughs> a unicorn hat that I had on. Uh, it's one of those times that me and my sisters went to like Hot Topic or one of the stores and put on crazy outfits and took pictures. That one, I have a balloon hat on. I don't know if you can use the phone. Yeah, it has like two eyeballs right there. It's like that, and then my sister has like a, I don't know what you would call it, it's just like supposed to be some wand type thing. We were at Fazoli's and there's a balloon guy there, and we both really want a balloon, so we're like, okay, we'll, we'll go over there when we're done eating. So we finally got up the nerve to go over and talk to him and get balloons, and he said he'd only give us one each, because I wanted a giant ring, and it looked pretty cool, but he wanted to give me <laughs> and that's me and my little sister again. That's me on the bottom of everyone. My little sister Hunter and her friend Gage and his friend. And they're really close to me, their family. And that was actually taken at my church. We were at the youth group. My little sister. <laughs> again. Um, for Halloween, she bought this red lipstick because she was like a witch. So she put it on and she still had it one of the days that we were just messing around at the house. So we put it on and she wanted to kiss me really bad <laughs> with a letter. <laughs> so I let her kiss my hand. So on my hand I like, took a picture and it was supposed to be her kissy lips. And she wanted to bump up behind me. She's like, <laughs> it is really funny. And no, it's okay. Back. <laughs> and that's another picture of me and my little sister. Don't change it. And um, me and her are pretty close, and I'm like her second parent almost. I look out for her, and in that picture we're just messing around. I mean, we mess around a lot, but I sacrifice a lot for her. And my best moment, I think, with her was when she was talking with my mom. Like, my, she didn't tell me this, but she told my mom. She's like, I look up to Holly. She's like my idol. And I was really excited and it made me feel special. So I was pretty happy being in this room. <laughs> that is our older sister, Anna. We, she currently moved back home, which was pretty exciting because she was gone for a while. And we went out to dinner and we were at a Stepa's and she was in the middle of eating. And we her always mess around too. And I was beginning to kiss her, and she's making this face, you can't really see it, but she's like, just looking like at the food. And it was pretty funny. We knew the next one. And that's. <laughs> that's the same. She know you're using these? Okay. <laughs> she hated it, but yep. she's okay. But, uh. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> she kept trying to eat and she kept, okay, she kept saying a bad word, but it was really funny. And so I kept looking at her like, like that. And my little sister kept taking pictures. So I ended up using one because I thought it was really funny. I guess she had to be there too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. For that. So, that is my little dog, Lucky, and my sister again. And I got him on my 10th birthday, and I could not think 
of a name. And I thought I was lucky to get him, so I decided to name him Lucky. So, go to the next one. That's me. <laughs> I was, me and my sister, before my older sister moved back home, we were messing around, and I was really hyper because I ate some cake. And when I ate too much cake, I get kind of hyper. And I was laying in this, like, under the window where the sun was hitting because I was really cold. And I was singing to myself, and Hunter came in with water, and she was, like, looking in at me. I don't know why, but it was really funny. And she kept taking pictures of me because I was like this. And I just looked ridiculous laying there, so it was a fun time. That is my dog, Lucky, and my sister's dog, Buddy. I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> He's, they're both labs. He's um annoying. He jumps on me, tries to, and then I'm like, get away. I, like, I kick him. And I'm not that mean, like, just like a choo type of kick. <laughs> Even on the next one. And I love this picture. That one is Buddy. I don't like him, but I like him in that picture. He was sleeping, but the white thing is his chew toy, and he was laying on his back, like, holding it. And I don't know how he was doing it, but it was pretty funny. And they were just sleeping, and I actually took that a few days ago. And my sister... He's asleep on his back holding the chew toy? Yeah, he does that all the time. It's pretty funny. Like, we'll just see him, and then we were going to go out there and try and scare him, you know, like, just jump Oh, up sure. Like, Use the dog some more if you can. <laughs> How'd he go? Roll onto his side. Like, <laughs> you roll to the side and then yeah, you can't yeah. go out there. No. <laughs> Get in this thing. That is my horse, Missy. It's kind of my sister's horse. It's kind of hard to see because it was dark in our barn and we don't have lights in there. But we used to have three, and the two of them died of old age, and now it's just one of the horses that we have. That's me and my mommy. Uh, we both have matching tattoos, and she wanted me to use that just to like show off our tattoos. And we both have we have two matching ones, like the one on my arm. She has this one too. It says "Take me as I am," except it's right here on her, and it's smaller. And that one, we're actually getting ready to go to church. And we listen to music in the morning. Like I don't know if any of you guys heard of Don Omar. He's like a Mexican singer, and we had him playing in the house, and we were dancing around, singing, and she came over, and my sister was taking pictures again, because she likes to take pictures, so me and her were dancing in that one, and my finger, right there, was busted, so she was holding my wrist, like she wasn't doing that to be violent, just so you guys know, because it could look a little bad, <laughs> but we were dancing in that one, just having fun. That is my sister Hannah and my mom again. They are currently working on their relationship together, getting close again. And I really like that picture. That is my mommy again at church. She's my idol. We do a lot together, actually. We'll go on dates. And she used to be a travel agent. And there was this one time, like, it was about 10 years ago. She was in Spain and she came back and she was at this little bar called Hotel Bar. I don't know if you guys heard of it. But um, she was, she got this carving. I didn't take a picture of it, I forgot to. But there was this old man there named Gary and he made her this carving. And it was supposed to be a, like she had postcards that she got from Spain and he made one for her. And she kept in contact with him throughout like 10 years or so. and. About a month ago, we went back there, and he was dead. But we wanted to see if he was alive. But we had like his picture, his number, and then we went to go visit his wife, which was pretty fun. It was just like closing one of her old chapters in her life. So I got to be part of that. And that's a picture of you two. They're actually one of my favorite bands. And me and my mom are going on a date this summer to go see them, and I'm really excited. Where are? And you can see. It. Like you're going to, right? Yeah. This summer, I think it was at like, Michigan State. Wow, that'd be a great yeah. concert. Yeah, I was really excited. So we got our tickets and we pumped to see them. And I just have a picture of one of my tattoos just to show that me and my mom also have that in common. And, you know, 
Lincoln Park, I am in love with them, and I got their t-shirt on, because they're like, you two and Lincoln Park are my two favorite bands in the world, and I have a picture of them representing just one of my favorite bands. Movies. Ocean's Eleven, Pulp Fiction, and Quentin Tarantino movies are like all my favorites, and I have a picture of Quentin Tarantino because he makes a whole bunch of movies, and I couldn't put all of them on there. So I just have a picture of him representing some of his movies. Art. That's a picture of Andy Warhol. I like a lot of his artwork that he's done before, and I find some of his stuff very inspirational. And I drew that, and it's the original picture is The Hand of God, and it's by Michelangelo. But for art class last year, I drew that. So that was pretty cool. And I want to go to college and get my major in law and a minor in art. That's a rock. <laughs> I put a rock on there because my mom, we always, we talk a lot. And she told me, like, I'm not very emotional at all. And if my sisters or mom needs someone to talk to, they come and talk to me. And I'm usually understanding. And they're the emotional ones. Like, they cry, get sad, and stuff. They just suck it up and deal with it. And my mom says that I'm kind of the rock in the family that holds us together. And she said without me there and talking to my sisters and trying to keep us all in line, you know, it's a family that she she doesn't know what she would do without me, and I'm very thankful and happy that she thinks of me that way because sometimes I'm kind of a goofball. <laughs> and so I was kind of excited and honored almost in a way, saying that I am the rock in our family holding us together because it is just us four because my family lives all over the place, so I don't see them or talk to them a lot. So um, that's me. Well done.